Tommy, get back here. You're grounded. Bring him in. Permission to use extreme force. Granted. I brought some fun books from the bookmobile. A real estate tips for kids. A nuclear fusion for utter nitwits. Any takers? It's a pop-up. Hello. Would you like to buy some delicious girl sprout cookies to make your journey more enjoyable? Girl sprout cookies? I don't know. Just try one on the house. Oh, well, since you put it that way, but only one. Just a little tiny bite. Oh, oh these cookies are wonderful. Uh, give me all you got. Cookies! 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 Oh, brother. Mmm! Cookies! Deb, see if there is a spare in the glove compartment. Glove compartment? Mm, good idea. Nope. No cookies in here. There's gotta be some more cookies in here. Cookies! We are very disappointed. But I didn't steal anything. Come back here, or, or you're grounded. What did you do? Who took my toy? I told you he'd be upset. Morning, Mom. Morning, Tom. What's that? Seems that someone sent you tickets for a matinee today. See, movie, cool. Morning, Gus. It's not a movie. It's a stage play. But Mom. It's the weekend. Yeah, education free. Hmm. It says the show is all about chocolate. Time for bed, kiddo. His mom's pretty nice, too. Lola just called. She says you have to come over right now. It's an emergency. And try and keep your room clean, please. <laughs> Donnie! He started it! Here's some money so you guys can get a pizza later. Pizza? And Tommy, I want you to mind your brother. Until Wendy gets here. Wendy? Of course. You didn't think your father and I would leave you kids alone all weekend, did you? But, Mom! Wendy's only a year older than me! And she's an even bigger dork than these two put together! Oh, come now, Donnie. I think Wendy likes you. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? It's war, son. Us against them. We can't have these alien robot toys in our house. What will the neighbors think? Come and join the smashing party, honey. It's very therapeutic. Cool. I can't wait. What? You're not going to be here. But, Donnie, after what happened last year, the city council passed a law. No fair! Dad! He's right, Deb. You want the other kids to think Donnie's a loser? We'll go out for the evening. I'll get you next time, Robot the Boy! <sighs> we want a word with you, young man. Hello? Yes? How may I help you? I'm Deb Turnbull. I have an appointment. My son gave me a gift for Mother's Day. My mother was a hard woman who showed me no warmth. And yet I remain obsessed with her. <laughs> Hello? It's Mom! I'm home! <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> How did I make a bunch of facing? I mean, hello, darling. Looks delicious. What is it? Squirrel! Hear that, honey? He trapped and skinned a squirrel all by himself. I just remembered I'm on a squirrel free diet. Don't worry, son. Everybody loves the squirrel. 
eat the squirrel, honey. He worked hard. I'm sorry we ruined Mother's Day, Mom. Is there anything I can do? You're a nice boy, Tommy. Actually, I know this is gonna sound silly, but for some reason, I just feel like playing with that little robot toy of yours. Really? I never knew you liked to play with toys. Hey! You're not my mom! Here you go, Gus. Waffles with fruit chocolate and pickle relish. Your favorite. That's silly. Robot boy, no eat. Tommy! Uh-uh. No TV. You've done nothing but watch TV all week. Why don't you boys go outside or read a book? Mom! Come on, get real! <coughs> Tommy, let me handle this. Hey, Mrs. Turnbull. Did you do something with your hair? Because you're a smoking hottie, I tell you. If you weren't my best friend's mom... <sighs> nice try, Gus. <laughs> Call me G-Man. Let's go, boys. Outside. Nighty-night, my little snooky wookums. Mom, stop treating me like a baby. You're right. You're a big man now. Mwah. Good night, my great big man. I won't tuck you in because I know you're too big for that. Yeah. I know this is gonna sound kind of weird, but could you tuck in Robot Boy? Huh? Maybe you're not such a great big man after all. Mwah. Good night, Robot Boy. Huh? Well, isn't that strange? Huh? Ah! days, hun, if we make it out alive. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Everything all right in there, boys? We heard noises. Everything's fine. Well, come on. It's dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not having lamb. It's taco night. Can't. There's only a minute left. What is all that noise? I don't want you getting too wild in here, okay? I just cleaned the house and I don't want it getting messed up. Don't worry, Mom. Everything's cool. I hope so. <laughs> I'm off to my hip hop dance class. <sighs> Okay, have fun. I'll see you in a little while. Boom slice. Bubble bear come. Check the pressure. Check the pressure. You got a ball patch. Ball patch. That's it. Now get rid of those spare tires. Mom! Mom! You have to get out! That's so cute. My little boy is trying to do hip hop. Mom! The office building's falling! Tommy, stop it. Couples dance class is on Tuesdays. But you need the vitamins and minerals you get from vegetables. I don't. For me, it's all about sugar rush. That's what gives the G-Man his mojo. I don't see how that could be, Gus. Without proper nutrition, you'd shrivel up into something weak and puny and pathetic. Ludwig. These homemade chocolate-covered marshmallow crunch bars sure look good, Dev. Tommy's a lucky boy. Please, call me Mrs. Turnbull. Now do me a favor and take these out to Tommy and Lola. Bad news, no snacks. I have to go to the market. It seems that somebody cleaned us out. You two kids are studying so nicely. I'm going to go out and get you all a treat for lunch. Yay! Yes, Mom! Say! Hey, Mrs. T. Hi, Gus. Tom. What did you do? Me? No, I didn't. He. I 
and sick and tired of always cleaning up after you boys. I can't leave you home alone for ten minutes without you trashing the entire house. That's it. I'm going to hire someone to keep an eye on you and teach you some manners. Have fun with that. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ah! I think you could use some manners too, G-Man. No way. I got manners coming out of my ears. Uh, no, that's wax. Mmm, tastes good too. Mom! There's a new nanny in the neighborhood. She supposedly works wonders turning kids into polite, quiet, solid citizens while keeping the house positively spotless. Mrs. Loutfire is exactly who I need. Mrs. Loutfire, I have to warn you, these boys are born troublemakers. Troublemakers are my speciality. Well, you do have some excellent credentials. The Royal Scottish Nanny Academy, the O'Hare School of Discipline and Punishment, Magic College... Magic College? Oh, I know. Card tricks, pulling a coin out of the ear, that sort of thing. The children love it. Mrs. Loutfire, you're hired. I want you to whip those boys into shape. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Turnbull. I'll whip them, all right. Oh, uh, into shape, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, come in here and meet your new nanny. Mrs. Loudfire, I leave them in your strong, confident, uh, quite mannish hands. Okay, I'm home. Wow, this place has never been cleaner. Dwight? I'm sorry. I didn't have time to make you dinner, hun. You're not angry with me, are you? <laughs> I don't know what's got into you, Dwight, but I like it. again, and I'll do the laundry for a month, baby. Gee, honey, looks like you're on the laundry for a month. <laughs> Donna, how are you feeling, sweetie? Donnie, honey, feeling any better, sweetie? Oh, dear, you look terrible. Well, I've got just the thing. This will fix you right up. It's made from the livers of six different kinds of fish. Pull up your shirt. Woo! Deep heating rub. <laughs> now I'm going out again. You just rest. Oh dear, that bomb does have a bit of an aroma. But you know what they say bad smell, good medicine. Hey, keep that on for at least an hour. <laughs> Don't let it get me, please, doll. Oh, my goodness. 
You're sicker than I thought. I'm taking you to the doctor. Tommy? Honey, I have to get your brother to the doctor. We'll be back in a while. Donnie, put a coat on. Keep her coming, boys. Now what's my dim-witted husband up to? Oh, <sighs> oh yeah. That full, rich, robust aroma. There's nothing like it. What? What in blue blazes is that horrible smell? This, my dear, is the finest premium-grade Ecuadorian Ocelot Guano. That's poop to you. <gasps> Why is there a trailer full of poop in our backyard? It's the best fertilizer money can buy. And I'm getting ready to spread it all over our lawn. <laughs> oh, no, you're not! I'm not? I'm hosting my scrapbook group, and I don't want my house stinking like a barnyard! Put a tarp over it! But many people enjoy the aroma. No! What? Thanks for letting me come over, Tommy. It's so much nicer than my house, and your parents out of bed. Yeah, you're right. My folks are pretty cool. <laughs> So, enjoying the cruise? Sure thing, baby. <clears throat> so what do you want to do now? What about a little shuffleboard? I don't know what it is, but let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>